So recently I've been playing Alpha Strike and um, it's a good bit of fun. I think I prefer Classic Battletech to Alpha Strike because I like the detail and, and how crunchy everything is, but you know, Alpha Strike is a great way to get to put off a lot of your miniatures on the table and, and have a relatively quick game, even with that amount of units on the table. And I do enjoy that the information on the units is very contained on these little cards here that are of uh, quite nice quality as well if you get them in the land packs and the uh, game boxes. Um, however, being the sort of person I am, I guess, I kind of immediately started uh, wondering about alternatives because in my very first Alpha Strike game I found myself uh, switching up my forces just before the fight. So I kind of, you know, I printed off some stuff uh, for my vehicles, which don't have these cards. And I wanted to get some different mechs on the table and I wanted to switch up my force. And that made me think, is there something that's sort of similar to flex sheets out there, which I've been using a lot for um, in, in classic uh, Baltic. If, you, if you're not familiar, uh, flex sheets is this sort of like, uh, sort of automatized um, record sheet thing where you can where you can uh, put stuff in here and uh, for example it'll uh, calculate all of the critical hits for you so I kind of started thinking uh, it would be cool if Alpha Strike had something similar and what do you know I did in fact stumble upon something that is very much like it so here we are on Jeff's Baltic Tools uh, website. As you can see, it's it's just a website, so you can use it on your uh, on your cell phone or or whatever. I'm using an iPad here, and of course, what we're interested in is the Alpha Strike part of it, Alpha Strike roster here. Now, the Alpha Strike roster has two uh, functions. First off, the list builder itself, and it's integrated with Master Unit List, so you can uh, anything you can find on Master Unit List, you can you can find on here as well. And of course, the part where you can actually play the game using just this website. So that's pretty neat. Let's have a look at both of those uh, features here. Now, as you can see, my current force is empty. Let's add a new group and you can even name it. Let's name this one Almost Good Lands. And we can then add units. Again, it's integrated with a master unit list and you can use all of the search uh, options there. For example, if you want inner sphere mechs and uh, introductory mechs and era up until clan invasion, and we'll want a battle mech as well. And let's start looking. Let's just, let's just actually just throw in a couple of mechs here. Let's throw in a wasp and a stinger and a flea. I guess this is going to be a very, very light lance indeed. And I don't know, just Join a commander or something. So now we've got a lance here. Of course, you would want to think about it a little bit more than I have done here. But now we got our lance here, and we can uh, edit our uh, skills here and even give it a name Scary Lil Bug Boy. And we can give it a better skill, and it also adjusts the points value right away. As you can see, 21, 29. You can even give your mechs uh, pilot cards. For example, let's throw in something, I don't know, what the Locust could get, the dodge maybe. So it says unit can attempt to evade physical attacks. The thing here is only that you will have to find those rules in your Commander's Edition Alpha Strike. But that's not a big deal. Now, what you can also do in this um, army builder, uh, list builder, is that this is very, very useful if you're playing with the um, lands bonuses. The app actually shows you exactly which ones this particular lands can get. As you can see here, this one only has four available bonuses. Let's say it's a recon lands, that makes sense, and it even says what the rule is, including uh, page references to the um, Alpha Strike rulebook. That's very, very practical, and this is not something that Master Unit List will do for you. So this is very cool if you do, in fact, use those lands bonuses. 
So that's basically basically it really. Um, just wanted to show you that uh, we can also use units that are not um, Balmex. We can throw in whatever. For example, let's throw in some infantry, I guess. And we'll do, do like a foot platoon. I, I don't really care what it is. Let's put in a lance group two and another one as well. And maybe we'll want to have an APC for these guys to get in. Let's throw in a kind of multiers as well, I guess. And here we have our uh, non mech unit. Let's go back here. And as you can see, we can also assign a bonus to this as well, support lands. And again, this is very useful. It actually shows you what these bonuses mean. So that's very practical. All right. Now on to the second part of this, this app here, it is the playing the game. Of course, you can print your force, which is very practical because you can see all of the information here and stuff like that. But what I want to show you is the play mode, because this is the part that I'm very interested in. So this is literally where you can play with your lands. This is this is very practical. Um, on an iPad, these cards are about the same size or a little bit bigger than the actual uh, Alpha Strike cards that you get in in the land boxes. You got all of your information here, including the uh, special bonuses and, and stuff like that. Uh, you can determine if you want to see them like this, like four at a time, or if you want to see just one of them at a time for a closer look. And we will be using this for now because I want to show you what this thing actually can do. Now, as you can see, all of the Alpha Strike uh, stats are here and everything that's relevant. Uh, what's also very cool is that if you can see this little ruler here in this left hand side corner, when we tap that, the app automatically converts everything to hexes. So if you're playing Alpha Strike on hexes, you'll get all of that automatically done here. Now, what this app, of course, can do, which is uh, like the reason I wanted to have it, kind of, is, of course, taking damage. And you can assign uh, critical hits. So let's say our Locust has somehow taken a uh, movement point hit maybe two, and it does all of it automatically. Like that. All of the stats are um, updated in real time, which is so practical. And if you have uh, make that again heat up, or if your mech heats up, it does that as well. What's also very, very practical is the fact that if your mech or uni has uh, special rules, you can just tap on a special rule and it will tell exactly what that special rule means. This is directly from the um, Alpha Strike rulebook. So that's very practical. I've been using this app for a little bit now. I've been playing a little bit of uh, Alpha Strike and it's just so practical. I mean, the cards themselves are very nice as well and I appreciate having them, but if I'm just going to play like a pickup game or something with, with random mechs or something, uh, I might not have the cards with me or I would have to write it all on, on like a piece of paper or something, even including with like pilot skills and stuff. This is gonna do all of that for you. So this is a great solution for for just getting into playing the game very, very quickly. Like Alpha Strike is a very quick game to start playing on its own, but this makes it even quicker in my opinion. So I'm very much a fan of this app here. I highly, highly recommend it. And again, if you're a fan of having actual paper, you can actually print your forces as well. You'll have a couple of different um, options here too. So that's very, very cool as well. So Jeff's Baltech Tools Alpha Strike Roster. Highly, highly recommend it for you if you're interested in playing Alpha Strike and want to automate a little bit more of that stuff. Alpha Strike isn't a complicated game, but you know, all of these special rules and stuff do add up.
when you play the game. Anyway, that's pretty much the video for this time. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.